Which <laughs> is really weird. Yeah, I, I know you do. I know you too well, Dan. I know you too well. What are you doing? Fixing everything. Angel is going to be fixing things for his team as well. Taking down Smith. Bit of a different story as to the previous pistol round that we saw them play on their CT side. Getting the frags here, Hellraiser's. A bit more proactive. <coughs> There's Flamey on behind the barrels there. It's quite a nice position against the especially against the Glocks. But he's gonna get the frags. Whoa! Look at that. Gets an excellent headshot on the jumping NBK. There's one more to boot. And things are looking really nice here. But Envy turning around, putting up the heat with the Glocks in hand and already. It's looking so back and forth. Finally, it does get cleaned up by a Dren. But it's piss around to say it's so chaotic, man. Uh -oh. so you never know, you, you never know what's going to happen. It's hard to call them sometimes. <coughs> Excuse me. If you are just joining us, you lovely people, Hellraisers have taken the first map. Not that surprisingly, because it is Inferno. And while Envy are considered top two on Inferno, it is a strong map for Hellraisers. And I did, I, I, th I thought they would take Inferno, but I, I really have reservations about them closing out maps. I would love to see... Um, the, the statistics from HLTV were regarding clutch maps in terms of close scores towards the uh, end of the uh, match with Hellraiser to see what, what percentage. Because I remember, if you remember the old Fnatic lineup, their statistics with clutch maps was, were absolutely horrible. And I do wonder if Hellraiser have similar statistics. So I had my reservations as to closing out the map, but I felt like uh, choking aside, they should have taken uh, Inferno, at least on this occasion. But we have a nice aggressive setup here from Hellraisers. They're against the pistols. Actually, this is quite important because Envy often go for like little set plays and rounds like this. Flash through middle. Shox picks up Angel with no problem at all. Flamey going to be dropping MBK and he's going to be going for the upper dark control. Really smart there from Flamey. Bomb's going to go down. There's nothing he can do about that. But he's going to enable a two pronged attack here as his team goes in for this retake. Look at this madness though. Pistols wreaking havoc. One on one now. Shocks left over with the, that Tech 9. And in goes Kucha. Jumping over the top. Ooh, just barely finds the frag. And Shocks does go down. But that's heavy damage. And you, you are so always have to be so scared of Envy's pistol armor strats because they have loads of them. Yeah. And Shocks with a Tech 9 is something he is he is so strong with that tech nine he slaughters people with tech nines like he's in an avatar and uh, i think we're gonna see him rocking yet another one indeed we will oh uh, i like i actually really like this this is really really smart here talk to me Dan. i mean envy basically buying up straight away instead of waiting one round because they know that they can put the pressure on they know that hellraisers are playing with with almost no grenades if they're having a buy here so Basically, they're going to try to exploit that fact and just try to use the numbers to get these fast kills. And we've got an AWP on Kucha. If Hellraisers lose this round, it's going to be so huge. Envy going to be on an insane tear. Yeah, they need to be careful in mid as well. You saw Angel was initially playing close to the doors, but with these Tech Nines, the range on them, especially the one-tap range, is pretty damn good. So, again, one, one um, opening frag from Team Envy could just be the can opener that wins them this round. Kucha. Oh, Kucha's orping all the way over on B. That's not going to help them at all there. As they're going to make their way in up cat. And here goes the set play from them. Look at these smokes. Look at the flashes raining in. Looking for that guaranteed plant as well. Jumping down to crossover. Shocks in with two fast frags. And that is going to be a bomb site held now by Envy. But the work of Adren is definitely going to go far here for Hellraisers. Getting two down with Famas. There's Flamey up middle, and this might be very doable here for Hellraisers. Have a kit on Kucha. On Orpen. It's all on Flamey now, and a one on two. Hellraisers in dire straits. Flamey the man to save them. X off the first kill. Just 12 health on MVK. He's got no kit. Four bullets left. He's going to have to reload. Going to go in with the USP. And as you said, no kit, no hope. And Envy take the round. MBK is going to die, so they have that going for them at least. But Hellraisers, they're crippled. They're so crippled. Yeah, again, Envy, they managed to close the distance with those Tech Nines and they got in that range for the one taps as you saw the first frag coming in there on A slope, I believe. 
And, oh, Smith, just with the flick of the wrist, is going to send Angel into another dimension. And that's going to leave the B-bomb site empty for the time being. A nice flash coming in there, probably thrown over towards the uh, red box. And that's going to force Envy to retreat as Adren is jumping around with a scout. Bending the rules of the game there. Nades coming in. And this is a force buy as well. They've got armor and, and uh, more than one scout here. So this is not good for Hellraisers. They've only killed one player so far. Kishima is within a dangerous range. But Smith's with an AWP is also within a dangerous range for Flamey. And we'll end that round and make it 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, I mean, this, this is one of the reasons why MV are a really, uh, really top-level team and so consistent at getting, you know, top placings. They're so, so good at running spots when they have just only the, the, you know, the money to go for pistol armor and some nades, basically. And they have the ability to, when they can't buy the rifles, do the same buy, but with, like, full nades, and then pull out a uh, place. And they got people, like, they got insane pistol skill as well. And it, this this just turns matches just completely around on its head. So Hellraiser is uh, in a really horrible spot right now. There's just no other way to, to, to say it. And <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, with legs folded, that can't yeah. be comfortable. I saw you like reaching for the screenshot there, but you're too slow. I wasn't reaching for the uh, screenshot. Who do you okay. think I am, Dan? Oh, I thought you were this James guy that screenshots all the time. Well, MBK holding shirts. the flamey position outside the B-Apps, and that's just an easy frag onto Angel. And look at that. <laughs> no respect here. I'm sure that makes Lerpis happy. He likes a bit of aggression from players, and that is definitely some aggression. There's that would really... Do you know what? That In that situation, I would really get pissed off if that was me. But that's what they're hoping for. They want to tilt these players like it's poker. They want them to shovel their chips in the middle when they're holding pocket aces. Actually, there's a similar thing in Quake as well. You can, when you kill people, you can like basically blow up the corpse as well. Wow! So blow that's, up the that's, corpse. That's there's that's actually something in in older um, Capcom games where you could kill someone and then just juggle their dead yeah, body. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, first, in first Marvel, strike. for example. Yeah. First strike, you could do that as well. First strike is the best game. Okay. So while this is a bit slow, they had something like that in Street Fighter 4, but they removed it because they're Japanese and they thought it was disrespect. Imagine if <laughs> en Envy went up against a Japanese team. The outrage would be off the hook. Harris is going to actually defend well here. Look at how, how tight they're holding some of these positions. Only now after the quick kill are they getting a bit aggressive on the angles. But The thing is, again, this is another characteristic of en Envy's behavior. They just do things that people don't expect. Shoxy just walking up with no nades, no cues, yeah, yeah. no tele... They don't telegraph their moves. They walk through smokes because they don't give a damn. They walk up short and don't throw any nades because they don't give a damn. Oh, wow. And Flemmy doesn't give a damn with that scalp. But, but the thing is, like, their meta at the moment is so strong. They're, they're, they're honestly playing poker. The, the on Counter-Strike. The thing about it, though, is that there are some spots, which there are some things which are are becoming quite... I mean, if you watch their games, like, you know that Happy and the positions that he plays, especially on CT, that like, he likes to push smokes. We know this. We've seen, for example, Inferno on B. That's, like, super... I've seen that from him so many times. I've almost never, ever seen it punish, which is actually ridiculous to me that teams don't expect that and I, aren't I've, able to punish it. I feel like people are... Like generally speaking, are still not swigging the the general ethos of Envy's play and the way that they do not respect smokes. They they will not telegraph their moves if they can avoid it. Like you saw Shoxy. Shoxy basically put himself in an unfavorable position with regard to team play in that his teammate could not get a trade kill because the boxes yeah. were in the way. But it puts him in a really strong position. And if someone tries to strafe and peek short and he's he's like at a 90 degree angle to their right, then he's going to get the jump on them. Oh, and they're going to go for the lower dark take here. They've uh, thrown an angel. Yashima going to easily take him down, though. So that's a big risk for no reward. Play me does get a trade. And oh, wow, the shot miss. Miss expected it, but Kucha takes the frag. And that is the bomb spotted as well towards top middle. Won't tell them too much just yet, though. But, uh, but yeah, things will calm down a little bit now as it's a 4 and 3 and lots of time left in the round. And uh, But onto your point there, Shocks, that's what he does. Like, he... He is always going for the solo pushes up cat. He, d he does it a lot, actually. One of the reasons he does it is because he shocks. And that's another reason why Envy is so good. They have 
insane talent on their team. But we're going to see two players spotted there. An upper dart for Hellraiser, so they kind of know what's going on at this point, but can they respond quickly? Adren, huge amount to do. Got to keep himself alive here. Got to do just that, just for now. Oh, Kucha, why? Why do you do it? This team, this team damages. I'm going to go down here for Envy. That's Hellraiser's position, but they've only got the doors and the windows to work with. Shoxie's on that angle that we mentioned before, where you stand on those stairs. You can see the heads coming in. Shoxi is playing out of his mind right now. He is winning practically every duel. He is just... I, I don't even have any description for what he's doing to these teams. Nice response from Dozier. Just locking Envy out of the sight here. But they do have another route to escape, so that's okay. Shox might not survive, though. Okay, so just he just about it. 5 HP. Hellraiser's... The way that we're... They, they seem to be trying to make Envy die even when they're winning the rounds. They want as few people to uh, survive as possible. Just loitering outside the door like a gang yeah, of thugs yeah. outside a Nike store when the Jordans are coming out. Yeah, God, it's, damn. it's a really big deal. I mean, oh my god, that's also a pretty Kiyoshima. big deal. Kiyoshima. Special guest. Oh, three orps here for Team Envy. They are mixing it up at the moment. DK takes down Flamey. The trade does come into play, but oh my goodness, still more kills. This is Envy. Like, when I've been watching them recently, I see this on Dust2 from them so often. This is why they're so fun to watch. Because they don't give a damn. Like, just like you said, you'll see them make so many plays on CT as well, where they just say, you know what, we're just really, we just are going to outskill you. We're just going to push insane angles and just keep catching you before you get any positions. It's round eight and Angel has one kill. Shoxy is 12 and four. I'm telling you, man, these are too many games in a row. Like every game that goes by, Shoxy just gets stronger and stronger. He's going to go Super Saiyan at some point. I'll have to make a video about it. So if you're in Hellraiser's position at the moment... What do I do? I wipe tears from my eyes, Dan. <laughs> it's, it's really scary. I mean, they've got another buy coming in here now, but you can see they're almost out of grenades. Envy looking still to just abuse their, abuse their skill at the moment. Uh, slowly getting control of uh, Catwalk around 110 here. So there goes the peak and Shox knows the angles. Pretty much knows what's going to happen before it happens. A clairvoyant man, Shox pushing forwards, gets another pick. No help required. Shox opening up a, the A bomb side completely by his lonesome. Right now, Shox is the best player in the world. Right now. <laughs> right at this moment. This what? is the this is the Shoxy people want to see. And this is this is a Shoxy that is scary. I want to cast from under the table right now, Dan. I need protection. <laughs> well the thing is about this, right, is that this is one of those teams where all the players have so much trust in one another to actually pull out huge results because the individual skill is so ins insane that they can take full liberties and not feel pressure. Shox can push Cat alone and not feel pressure that if he messes it up, his teammates won't somehow be able to turn the round around. He's not feeling the pressure like he has to do everything and that's why he can do everything. Okay, we need to follow Angel for a bit. And we need to find out what is going wrong for this man because he only has one frag. I, f I feel like he's playing a long area which we haven't seen much action in. No, they haven't really taken long. I, I, f I think he's he's dying when the rest of his team has been slaughtered already. One of those kind of awkward situations which doesn't, you know, the one kill doesn't tell the whole yeah. story because. Uh, oh, there. NBK, look at that amazing play there. That shows you it's a fantastic demonstration of uh, spray control. Gonna Molotov Hellraisers out of the position and then spray them down as they try to rotate out of the site. And Team Envy are angry now. And they're showing Hellraisers and they're showing the whole world why this is their map. This is not your map, this is their map. If you think it's their map, this is what... If you think it's your map, sorry, then this is what happened. Wow, Shoxy lost the duel. <laughs> yeah, I was, about, I was about to say actually, and I still think this will be true. Well, Angel's getting some extra frags at the end here. Um, but I don't think that Envy are actually going to give away any more rounds because quite a few of their players are basically flow right now. They're just in flow state. At least Shox is appearing to be in just in flow state at the moment. 
he's, he's just he's got the complete freedom. He's got com they've all got complete freedom on the map. There is, it seems to be at the moment not, not much that Aries can do to stop them. This but we've is seen the first round in a while where they even have money. This is not the first time we have seen. Um, Envy beasting Hellraisers on this map. If you remember that CT side where Smith was going absolutely bananas, they the entire team were not even moving like they weren't moving literally an inch. They were all standing completely static, and it was Smiths in the mid with an AWP on a CT side versus the whole team just killing all of them. And, and then he went to B and did the same. He has the fastest possible timing on short there. Adren, you can see, is completely out of position. Shocks has a huge advantage in that duel every time. And he can do that because he's got two teammates covering him down middle. There's like no way that Shox can get punished for that. Unless they pre-nade short. But why would you pre-nade short? I mean, it's, unless you see the player in, in advance. It's, they are just absolutely pulling out all the moves here. I think on this particular map, Hellraise, um, Envy have Hellraiser's number. I, f I feel like it might have been the previous lineup of Hellraiser's um, when it happened last. The bomb is in control now of the CTs, but the flank is real from NVK. This is crazy. And there we go, Dozier gets uh, shot down. And it's Kuchu with the AWP versus uh, two. But yeah, I feel like um, Envy have Hellraiser's number on this map. We, yeah. saw it, we saw it last time where it was Smiths versus the whole world on the CT side, as I was just mentioning. And we are seeing it now. But again, it's even worse um, for Hellraiser's arguably because Hellraiser's are coming into it. Sorry, Envy coming into it hot. Kucha, as good as he is of the York, just cannot stop these Frenchmen right now. But yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, it's one of those called AWP dynamics. If, if uh, CT has an AWP and the T's don't, then that means you can push lower dark. If, uh, if it's the other way around, it means that the T's can jump down into the suicide really fast and then run to short with the fastest possible short timing. So that's like the the two clear dynamics when there is AWP for one team and not for the other. And the middle control, that was like what it gives you at the start of the round. And Envy know exactly that. They abuse the hell out of it. Shox is, is beasting right now. And you're seeing two AWPs on the T side. And Look they're having adjustment. no problems. I think we saw a boost up to short for Hellraisers as we've got a Dren. Um, yeah, this is a good adjustment. Up here, yeah. this, is like, this is like the perfect way to basically counter it. But, but still, it's like really hard because it shocks and he's beasting at the moment. He is beasting. NBK is beasting. Smiths is doing pretty damn good himself. And the other guy's not really getting a look in because these guys are just all three Ramboing right now. Yeah, looks like they're going to go for the push on short here, but again, we've seen that there is quite a few players there. But Shox doesn't care, doesn't give a damn again. Two quick frags from him on the entry. It's ridiculous, they put two players there to kill Shox. Shox has a friend, but just as you said, he doesn't even get to do anything. Shox just kills them all. Shox doesn't care about you. He doesn't care where you've come from, how you got here, what you plan to do in the future. Doesn't care about your CV. Doesn't care about your girlfriend. Doesn't care about your pets. Doesn't care about what you had for dinner. All he wants to do is shoot you in the face, and that's what he will do if he so chooses, and that's why he is 18 and 6 right now. The 90s, it's just brutal. I, I still don't see Alrez is taking another round here just because. This is like one of those spots where a team, when a team that's as good as Envy can basically do whatever the hell they want without being punished because that's of their the individual skill. I've ever heard in Counter Strike. Yeah, <laughs> that one was like a nuclear explosion. Why was that so loud? But you see this in all in all, in all kinds of games. This is this is one of the reasons why, for example, if if your execution is just worse than another team, it can be difficult. To, like even if you're having better strategy and you have a better better thought and decision making, it can be hard to make it even actually impact the game because they just outfrag you so hard. This is like one of those situations, but you rarely see it at the super top level um, because because every, everybody is uh, everybody is so damn good, but right now in the uh, heads and shoulders above Hellraisers, Hellraisers again with uh, that aggressive play on cat trying to get something done. They have tied it up on players, but there's still three more to go and Shox is still alive. So here we go. They're going to go for the push on the feet. Flamey, it's your time to shine, my friend. Able to pick up two frags, but shocks in with the trade. He's got a one on two now. And plenty of time. Going to go for a safe plant. They could need peak both at the same time. So that was basically the perfect response from Aries. They pick up a round, so they proved me wrong. They're able to take one down. Three orbs from Envy. 
Fair enough. Envy just looking to mentally demoralize their opponents right now. They just... They're like the Brock Lesnar of Counter-Strike right now. I don't respect you. Oh wow, Cooter actually gets the kill in. When they're all just on the offset. That's the bomb drops there momentarily. And we're going to, going to see... Uh, Two players on B here for Hellraisers as they try to make these adjustments on the fly. Shocks at the moment. Terminator mode, looking for that, uh, looking for the spam there on the, on the boost, the, the kind of Noah stack. But there is nobody there on middle for Hellraisers. They've they're playing much closer to the sites at the moment. Here comes the slow push up catwalk now. As uh, we are going to see once again, Shocks is, is the man, the point man for this this kind of a play. And uh, here it is, ready to be flashed in. All the smokes as well. And here comes the push. MBK first hand in this time. He does spot the trend. Oh, great second reaction shot there onto Kucha. MBK on point as well. Very scary. As you see Shocks finishing off Flamey. And Angel and Dozier are left over, but that much to do in <laughs> it's just winning every duel this is yeah. this is abhorrent this is this is a national tragedy dan this i like if i were hellraisers i gotta think okay firstly always veto dust two versus envy otherwise we're gonna get wrecked secondly <laughs> secondly let's look, sit down and find out why envy always wreck us on this map firstly Envy know what Hellraisers are going to do on the CT side of this map. That much is clear. And they, they are exploiting them like they're working in, in a sports factory in some Far East Asian country. Now, they need to change up their game versus Envy because they're just getting destroyed. The thing is, is that they could never get any money going. We saw that they won the pistol pretty, pretty well, but that pistol armor play was super good. Somehow they're doing a bit better with the pistols for now, but I don't expect it to last much longer. The site is now the property of Envy. They've got a good setup here, but Adren moves in just before the smoke pops. That's going to reward him a frag. And with MBK so low, Harris have a good chance to take this one. And is Adren really going to run all the way around? He's already got two teammates in Upper Dark. He needs to just go for this. And it is the last round of the first half. MBK goes in for the peak. Ooh, good damage, but no frag. And he's still so low that this might be problematic here for Envy. Well, so close. Takes down the drain and the rest to fall like flies as they jump through the smoke. And 12 to 3, an utterly demoralizing half there for Hellraisers as Envy really just spread their wings. That was phenomenal stuff. Primarily from Shocks, but all of them were playing really well. They just didn't get a chance because Shocks was the first man in everywhere. That's his job, though. He's so. 25 and 8. Is this? What is this? On the first half. He is 25 <laughs> and 8. Are you telling me Shoxy's trying to 30 bomb one half? <laughs> I'm telling you. He Envy versus Hellraisers on Dust 2 is broken. Look at this and understand this. Yeah, yeah. If, if Hellraisers don't veto Dust 2 next time they play Envy, then somebody needs a good talking to. Okay. Well, look at this. MBK putting on a show. Completely stopped. They wanted the X split, but yeah, MBK just completely just hamstrings it. Great pistol work. This is this is absurd. He didn't even fire a second shot. <laughs> what is this, James? I can't commentate this. <laughs> this is awesome. I can't. I'm. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I can't, I can't. It's like they're all on the same wavelength as well. It's not that just like one player, but they're all just like, hey guys, only one shot allowed. Maybe that's their new rule. It's like, guys, we've got to make this a bit more difficult. Hey, they're channeling their inner scream there. This is, this is madness. This is absolutely madness. I can't take this. This is hard. I can't, I can't breathe. And you have asthma as it's well. It's not my asthma this time. Are you Fred, sure? The French are killing me. All right. The better thing is, right? This, this map is a write-off, I don't care what anyone says. This map is a write-off, oh, yeah, yeah. it's 13-3. The map's not over, but it's over. How do Hellraisers keep their head in the game? Well, they're able to get two quick entries. The Tech-9 train is 
Oh, wow. MBK spraying down two in quick succession. That's going to help even things up here for Envy, who look in trouble with the Tech-9s rolling in. Kutri even going to be trying to get that bomb down. And Plant the bomb. Here we go. That's the problem. Kutri there, leaving his team out to dry. Having the plant. So headshot found, but gets caught in the side. Smith now should have no problem finishing him off. And there you go. Even finds it through the crate. When you get wrecked this bad, how do you keep your head... Bearing in mind this is the best of three and Hellraisers have a one game advantage. When and when your team, your, your opposition, sorry, are playing their fifth map in a row and they are all playing... Uh, Happy's got six kills right now. But they are, they are all playing out of their minds and Happy's just running around... I don't even know what he's doing. Maybe he's doing a painting on the side or something, but... How do you keep your head in the game for the third map when this is happening to your team? Well, the thing is, it's almost easier because, it's, like you said, it's a complete write-off. They know it's just completely over. Like, it's just, it's just not gone their way. They can just move on. There's, there's nothing to think about here. They just got completely destroyed. It's, that's, that's all there is to the story. And the thing is, is that I think it's, that's actually going to make it a little bit easier for them. Because it wasn't as if they lost a lot of close rounds. But, you know, that said, let's, let's give them the... Give them in the spotlight here. They are actually going into an advantage. Four against three. Not for long though. The boost here. They've only got three players left, they but with two of them, they decide to stack mid. They stood there the whole round. <laughs> even though there was no smoke or anything, it's like, yeah, we're cool. This is fine. But it's reasonable, actually. Because of the control of long, you expect them yeah. to try and push short. So it kind of makes sense in a way. Now it's a 2v2. Yeah, I think that Hellraisers will be able to put this out of their minds pretty easily moving into the next map. It's overpass, like you said, it's a completely different map. Uh, it's it's going to be less about these individual plays than stuff 2 is. That's a good entry there. Kyoshima goes down, in comes Smith. Makes it a one-on-one, -on -one. the bomb is going down. This gives him a chance to get some position and apparently Smith won that round. Apparently he did. <laughs> All right. So, okay, NBK is going for the auto shotgun. Now this, this is psychological warfare, my friends. This is psychological warfare. And I like this. I've, I feel bad. It's hard to watch. It's almost like when um, like, a, like a, a cheater has caught a baby deer and is just dragging its dead body along the ground by its neck. But it's still really cool to watch at the same time. It's some weird, morbid way. Three versus three now. And NBK. Uh -oh. oh, he didn't see him. That spot is ridiculous. Rex. What a what a position there. So NBK completely missed that. Not that he could have done anything with that shotgun from that range, but still. Advantage found. Shocks with the AWP this time. Maybe quite low. Shox wants to go in close and personal. Now he's got the M4 in his hands. Over the flash goes as he makes his way through the double doors. Happy's on the case on the A bomb side itself. Picks up a kill as Shox also gets one in the middle and they clean up it with ease. They're making this look like Hellraisers are in a completely different league oh to them. Boy. So Shoxy makes the 30 bomb as well. He makes the 30 bomb in 19 rounds. Not and bad, uh, bad. 